Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Play by Play Gaming. This is Rose K. And the McAdoo. This evening we are going to be beginning a journey of the Fallen Order. New Star Wars game. Came out Friday before last, 15th, I believe. Yes. What's the difficulty we are on, McAdoo? Just the default Jedi Knight difficulty. As a heads up, neither one of us are Dark Souls fans, nor do we play Dark Souls, really. Uh, so this is an interesting game. It's not truly Souls-like, I would say, but it definitely has that... Uh, the combat style. Yeah, you'll pay if you don't dodge at the right time type of gig. Kind of like Monster Hunter, I'd say. Monster Hunter's about in that same line. You, you don't have to dodge, but you'll pay if you don't. I think this game is very pretty. Yeah, I've played a little bit already. It is a very nice looking game. Is the gentleman that plays Cal again? Listen, I don't want to upset your mother, um, Cal. I just Boss noticed the guy from Shameless. He'll be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. Cameron Monica. The government double your pay for this yet. Why, Cal? What's your score? Huh? Is that how you say it? Okay. I, I, I guess. Right. Let's go. That is the gentleman who they styled the entire character after. He also does the voice acting for Cal. Uh, to give a little context, this game is you play as Cal Kestis. He's a, a Jedi Padawan in hiding after the events of Episode 3 and the, the Great Jedi Purge. He's working as a scrapper on uh, whatever this planet is. It's not super important. After you, Kip. I need to be curious about the names of the Star Wars universe. At this point, it wouldn't be surprised if it was just called Bracca. There we go. Bracca. The Separatist ship. Haven't seen the Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. We should have a better mic coming in tomorrow, so hopefully that will improve right. the sound quality of the videos. Kind of excited. Oh yeah. Almost wish they would remake KOTOR in this type of graphics. This level of quality. Still one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time. Way to go, okay? Prof. Yeah, I'm good. Just broke the the Why stairwell. This place is you just. Have to find another way. Yeah, no I found problem. the way apart. I'll improvise. I watched you struggle with some of the. the you are not a pro. Yeah, it's gonna be, it, it's gonna be bad. The trash. The sliding. It's not pro trash. Why would he hide out one of the Imperial ship breaking? In all places. He works for the, the Scrappers Guild, and they're just breaking up like all the stuff from the Clone Wars. This isn't this isn't a particularly long time after afterwards. Hurry up! We're close to finishing ahead of schedule. I can just about taste the credits. 
Yeah, money doesn't taste very good, so I don't know. Unless credits are mint flavored, I don't know if I really want to taste the credits. Hmm. Reckless cow. Good to see you. You too. Get yourself killed. That's the idea. Walking around like this would definitely be an easy way to get yourself killed. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to pull that off. I'm also not a Jedi, so. Kind of a tight squeeze. A little bit I wouldn't want to be going through here. Especially like. It sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. Was there a last time? Probably. He probably does have some history with the rats. Yeah, what is he doing over here? Sounds good. Be there soon. I mean, he just found you like, hey, you can find another way up. And he just mad. He knows you. which direction we're going. Yeah. Prof. It's plot convenient. Let's go see. Whoa. Oh, thanks, droids. Yeah, how about next time not cutting something from standing on? Flaming on. Whatever. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? <laughs> She sounded so incredulous, like, there's no possible way this guy just dropped out of the sky. Uh, I guess I need to get down still. This reminds me of, like, Mario somewhat. Uh -oh. Hey there, buddy. Is he only grab one at the bottom, or was that... Uh, you have to hit L2 to grab. Well, that was, that was kind of a close one there, Chief. I want to guess you're going to need to... Or to grab uh, into a climb. Slide. Cutter is here. There it goes. This is really cool. Hey, we should get moving. Oh hell yeah. Yep, good looking out. Don't. The Chinooks of Star Wars are up there. He's pulling apart the whole ship. Mm -hmm. Two of them. If you're in there and they start cutting things off with that big laser. Yeah, I mean, I wonder, they, they probably, I wonder if they take it to a, an area yeah. to get cut into smaller pieces. Lever below. Possibly. Got it. Your turn. I would think this guy would be a lot, a lot more built. Hold on. Pulling a lot right. of Assassin's Creed right. stuff. <laughs> That inspires confidence. You know, honestly, the general rule of how things are done in the Star Wars universe is just doing things in the least safe way possible. Done. Hang on. I got this. I'm just getting near climb along the outside of this. We're done. Above this bottomless pit. Whatever, it'll be fine. You know, OSHA is probably all over this place. Look at this. Yeah, they don't have space. Scrapping payday. I mean, this he's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Never flew this, but down on a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is just our lucky day. He's Probably got a magic a eraser on his palm. Like Yep. He's secretly Here Mr. Clean. And it's re-dirtied. Some R2 type unit. Find us free like this? Maybe you take it off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. Holy Thanks. prof. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. 
Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening. What was that? Force up attack. What about Prof? Yeah. It's a broken leg. It's a broken a lot of things. Is it dislocated shoulder or leg? Oh, there we go. Prof, you okay? No! I, I can't climb up! Prof! Finger straight. Hang on! I'm slipping! No, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! No! They're real casual about the fact that they're doing all this scrapping over what essentially is a super sorrow oh. You okay, bro? I'm alright. Just pin down. Pilot's gone. I'll get us out of here. Just hang on. Watch yeah, out! Yeah, this now. is a really big sorrow Look out! I forget exactly what it's called. I probably mentioned it in light. one of the, the oh. data points you can scan. Maybe they're just chucking like all the stuff they don't want into it. Maybe. You all right? Yeah. Do you even lift, bro? We got like. Come on. <laughs> what was that back there? Was, it, was that you? What? That, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen the. I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Bro, I found these out on people I like know. you. No. Yeah, we're right. We need to be careful. I guess it's like some sort of train between around the scrapyards. You don't have to worry about me. What what is his species? I have no idea. I don't, I don't think we've ever seen that before. I have no idea what how to pronounce that. A bit neato. Prof. What type of drugs did you take? I mean, what here leads you to believe I'm on drugs? Prof, wait up. Why is Prof walking away from you? Why are people disappearing around you? I'm just fading out of reality. Yeah, Cal might be tripping balls right now. He's high on the forest, son. You've been denied. I'm 
computer work eventually. Well, whoa. So, about that, uh... He's high on the force. Well, it's going to take me a while to get to the end of that. Space racist, but Train the definitely wouldn't want to be yeah. seeing him. Something's going on. Have nightmares the rest of the week. Everybody up. Identification ready. Move out and you know, this is up. never a good sign. I think they're both she's. Really? Yes. Because that's the second mm -hmm. sister and the ninth sister. Yes, second sister. Purge trooper. We seek a dangerous fugitive. The big, the big thing is a woman. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's called the ninth sister, unless it's a dude sister. You're not going to judge. But sister generally has you know, a connotation. Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh... I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers just started getting worked. That's a uh, pretty incriminating thing to be carrying truth. around. But I can kind of see why. Too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You are. <laughs> no! Look at this. A I found the Jedi. It's eight ninth sister. <laughs> What's that? Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy. Jedi! Well, here we go. Problem solved for the moment. Hear that over the comm? A Jedi? Stay sharp. They won't get past us. The traitor. Blast them. Okay. okay, I got this. I got this. Oh, here we go. Nice. Contact confirmed. Shoot the kill. Uh-oh. Intruder there. I'll see what I can do. Lay down <laughs> suppressing fire. I've killed the cargo door. I don't know about the wisdom of just cutting random hoses on a train. 
No, it could be worse. We might be able to get a squeeze through those. One way out. What's up, Acrobat? I think the wind will just blow you off. We've got a wall around that. Yeah. No, no. Let's see what we got. Gotta keep moving. Is that so good? I mean, you are moving. The train's moving. Chop. I chose to rest. Chop, chop. That's how I prepare. Jedi, hold on. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. That would hurt. It would. What? Is that going to still, like, appear? He dropped down from the sky. Oh. He just had a bad day. See? Oh, there we go. Ooh. You know, whatever that is, if it's spinning the way it is, it's probably pretty essential. You probably shouldn't stop it. Yeah, that's why you don't pick a fight with a guy with a laser sword. Comes this way, I'm ready for it. Puzzles are, are very uh, reminiscent of Uncharted and Assassin's Creed, but like doing you know all this type of stuff is so much more dangerous. It's dangerous just because you're in space. Yeah. So four on one. What do we got? We got well, there's one. Three on one. Two on one. You can't beat us. I need backup to kill you. I needed that. You might need backup to kill me. Maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. Get to the front. Stop the train. Is there any particular reason he wants to stop the train? You know, it's an excellent point. The train is going to be farther away, but it is a train, so you know, know where, you're going, where you're going. Now. That sounds uh, like a pretty aggressive enemy right there. Oh. You know, that was not supposed to happen. That was somewhat special. That was a bad life for us. That was. That was a quick follow-up shot. Not sure what happened to the camera there. It's an extreme close-up of the barrels or whatever that is. Okay, so there's the hole up there. Don't fall in that again. There we go. Faster! Here. I'm ready for you. Well, that was. I do have very little problem, but it is a problem. He shot the coupling out. Oh, shit. That was not what I wanted to happen. You know, this would be a very unfortunate time to die. I don't have the slightest idea where it would respawn. Ah.
Only way is up. Part Jedi, part parkour expert. impressed that the train is still like just you know traveling along with so much train hanging. Yeah. Well that's not a good thing. Oh plot convenient backup. Who are you? No time! Keep moving! We'll pick you up when we can! Would you really be in any position to ask questions at this point? Like... No. Um... I mean, I also probably would have tried to jump for that ramp. Just been like, bring it in like six inches. shall see where it responds to you. It takes you all the way back to the very beginning of the train ride. That'd be rough. Stuff. So I just be really excited about that. Probably want to go stop the train. Now this can't be good. Whoa! All the doors are proximity sensing. Thank God it's only the ones at the Walmart here in our house. Walk right into those. Don't even open them. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, help him up a little bit, Chief. You know, she oh, probably she could meet literally any, any form of effort. This is gonna hurt. I'm gonna tell you break like your entire torso. Oh, jeez. Off the train. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you had some training after all. Who was your master? Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. 
What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Oh, you just won't have to answer that question. <laughs> She's chopping you up pretty good there, Chief. Oh, yeah? Finally hit her today, McAdoo? Won't be nice for you to lock onto her. This is the price of your arrogance. You know, I think that it's scripted for you to just kind of lose this fight. But I wonder what would happen if you just came to this game and just like MLG Pro Dark Souls player. Just take her out. Just... You, you hit every dodge, you hit every attack. Probably has like a threshold where you'll do the lock. Oh, yeah, probably will do something. But... What? What was that? What part of this seems like a good idea to you? Just fly away. Get close the door and fly away. Yeah, she should know better than to be shooting at someone with a lightsaber. I'm not really sure how it scorched the inside of the door like that, but whatever. Okay. And of course, she just holds on, you know. She's got a, a real. Death grip one. Till that point. Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. That would be a little distressing to have some kick a lightsaber on in very close quarters. Imagine they put out more than a fair bit of heat. Brings back the memory of the uh, Star Wars Episode Four, where they're in the Millennium Falcon, Luke's practicing. Yeah. Yeah, the Manus is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors, and now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We tracked Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, that sounds great in theory. I'll, I'll set aside my objections to the Jedi. Um, but we, we know how this goes. Episode 4 has been out for more than 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> There's still going to be 50... They, they said 14... This is 5 years after the Clone Wars, I think. Or after Revenge of the Sith. In the end of the Clone Wars, that um, Captain, set a course for the you know, still 14 years until that, so we know the Jedi have not been successfully brought back. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. For now, that's. Move on and live your life. Find your destiny. You were talking in your sleep. I'd be really upset if that's how I was woken up by someone who looked like that. Yeah. Just a little bit creepy. Sideburns of a god, though. All right. Well, well I think we are going to call this uh, the end of part one. The prologue into the we, first uh, episode. Yeah, we finished the tutorial planet, basically. We will leave you here with this uh, very questionable ladder. Definitely not issue approved. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening.
you like what you see, subscribe, leave us a comment, throw up a like. We'll see you next time.